Welcome to Mama's Comedy Show. It's me, Cousin Todd. Hi, Cousin Todd. Hi, Cousin Audience. And with me is Cousin Ed. Hi, Cousin Audience. Hi, Cousin Ed. Ed, that was pathetic. That's a different audience. I have a completely different audience than you do. <laughs> and Cousin Ali. Hi. I'm not going to do that. Hola. Hola, Ali. Viva, viva. I, I don't like I don't like you. Uh, how are you guys doing? Good. I mean, pretty mildly good. offensive, apparently, but other than that, I'm fine. No, pretty good. Pretty and good. it's not offensive. They're they're dirty people who... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was... Wow. You know, like, I wish that I could get through certain bits with a straight face. Like, <laughs> like I see... I see people do bits that are, like, super offensive, but they have a straight face, and I'm like, God dang it, I, I wish I could do that... I always laugh at myself halfway through. Because yeah. <laughs> you find yourself amusing. I, I guess uh, I I'm, do. I'm doing well because uh, summer is right around the corner. Yes. And I'm excited because, as you know, my other life I teach. And I am over it this year, man. Yeah. yeah. Over it, over it, over it. This yeah. is it. That's me. For those of you listening, there was a visual of me going over something. Right. Nice. Over it. Like, um, what would be a good uh, analogy for being over teaching? Like hair trigger, like you, your, your hair trigger has been triggered and it's just like, like a, like a, a mentally ill person roaming the hallways, um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. <laughs> you really don't know. I don't I'm even just, know what you're talking about. I'm just shooting from the hip here. <laughs> anyway, I think at this point, though, I'm very much the camel's back has been broken. Yeah. The straw has already been laid. I mean, I, I, I have famously said that I feel like teachers have it too easy in Florida. So, you know, <laughs> I'm glad that Here's you can get to your mansion. I'm, I'm tired of driving by these multi leveled estates. Yeah. Yeah. For teachers. Yeah. With their butlers standing out front. Yeah. Screaming gay at everybody who passes by. Meanwhile, you got these NBA stars. That, these NBA stars that are living in hovels on like the side of like the, the space somewhere. telescope. In the no, not hovels. Hovels. An angel. Like little um, huts. Do, do, do. Like pizza Ed, huts. Ed. They're living in old pizza you would, huts. You, that's stupid. You yeah, would well, never, ever be able to put a hut in space. Yeah. Uh, Jabba, the hut was in space. Uh, right. He got you. He That's got right. You with his legal You're right. Jumbo. You should be a teacher. I should. Yeah. Man, living the dream, man. <laughs> he God. does teach, but he teaches adults. Right. He does there's, adult education. Yeah, there's no money in that. None. Brown chicken, brown cow. I saw that movie, Summer School. You could fuck any one of those kids you want. <laughs> <laughs> Especially that chainsaw. Uh, um, there was a uh, uh, there was a a news story recently about a teacher, another teacher, who was uh, arrested for having sex with her students. But this was like years later. Oh yeah, where what what state? Uh, probably Florida, it, it, most likely. So wait a, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. She was arrested for having sex with her students years after they graduated. Years after they had sex. So they had oh. she had sex with yeah. her students while they it didn't were come students. out until after. Yeah, because there's nothing wrong with the fact that the teacher can go and have a relationship with a student after they graduated. I yeah. think that could happen. I think I've told you this, Ed. You uh, you're sweating no. a little bit when you said that. Right. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, no, no. Why do you got to get out of here in such I'm a cool. hurry? I'm cool, guys. <laughs> um, the uh, I think I've I've told this story before. A friend of ours, um, she was telling me a story about how she ran into. Her, her former like English teacher or something. Yeah. And this was like right after her high school graduation. Mm -hmm. And he asked her out on a date and they went out on a date. I remember the story. Yeah. And she said they were, they were making out. And as they were making out, he said, Oh, you have no idea how long I've waited for this. Oh. And I was like, Ooh. I was like, that got real, real <laughs> creepy. Uh, which, which speaking of getting real creepy, don't stand so close. What's a uh, what's a boner killer for you? You. <laughs> right. Uh, well, that's I mean that's That is the opposite for me. Yeah. I mean right right now um, Ali is what's rock a hard. boner killer. A boner killer would be something Pain. that uh, 
Y- yeah, pain. Pain? Yeah. Any kind of pain? Like, nope, we're done. Uh, scatological stuff. Poop and pee. Right. Has that happened? I've, I've had offers. Of, and I'm like, no, thank you. Of you Not peeing poop. on them, or they're like, hey, I want to pee on you. I don't want to talk about this. Uh, well, <laughs> you can't just you, drop that. You ask me what I don't want to talk about, and I, <laughs> what I find to be no, I asked you what a boner killer was, and then yes. you're like, yeah, I peed on some girl, and now that's I all I can. I didn't say that. Oh, so she peed on you. No, I didn't say that uh, either. Okay, so they peed on each other. Right, you made a rainbow. He was, he was <laughs> offered, we'll put it that way. Like in a in a champagne flute, <laughs> maybe it's classy. Um, I had a, a friend who told us the story, kind of, kind of similar to what you just said. Where uh, his version of it was was exactly like this. Yo, um, so I was going out with this girl, and um, is this the guy that you say that you rem- I remind you of that no, guy, the no, no, bro, no. bro guy? No, no, no. He's like, yo, um, so I was going out with this girl, and we're we're screwing around, and she's like, I want you to pee on me. <laughs> And <laughs> and we're just a bunch of guys standing around staring at him. There's like this long pause because he didn't go any further. And then uh, I said, what did you do? Immediately he goes, I pissed all over that bitch. <laughs> <clears throat> That's, That's one that great. I don't. I That's don't... a great story. <laughs> hey, at least the yes ended. Yeah. You know what? He's how a do team you, player. How do you know you're player. not gonna like a girl pooping on your neck unless you've had it happen? Exactly. Ahead. I don't think you'd know what no a thanks. boner killer is because you weren't in you the middle have of a boner. Happening. Yeah. You're thinking of what possibly could be a boner killer. No, I a boner I'm killer for me sure is pretty sure that's a boner killer for you me. You don't know. I, shit might that that might go. Ooh, that's a little warm and tingly. <laughs> I like the smell of pneumonia. Mm. <laughs> or that, or that ooh, just the weight of it on my chest is kind of kind of getting me going. No, no. <laughs> just, just no the and sound. No. <laughs> <laughs> no and no. Flop. Um <laughs> I was uh I was hanging out with uh my buddy Brad or our buddy Brad and uh we were talking about two girls one cup. Because at your house Ali, uh-huh. uh your assistant and my assistant had never seen it so we made them watch it. Yes. We didn't we didn't make we allowed them to watch it. Well yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it was during hours. And, they could do it. And Brad had said uh, he's like, I was looking for that video the other day, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I pulled it up on my phone while we're in this. Uh, it was a, a, um, a kombucha store. <laughs> and oh and you just God. hear that music. Dun, 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 dun. And mm. the guy uh, behind the counter is like, oh, yep, yep, that's that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's something I don't I don't get. I don't get the um music? No, the the poo and pee thing. I, I don't get it either. Yeah. Like the thing that you said like pain, like I'm not I'm not into pain, but I have been in the middle of an act and um like uh like I was getting hurt at the time, but I was like, well, I'm I'm already in oh. at this point, like I I got to get past it because I'm focused on something else. And it was like her her heels were like digging into me like I was. Oh, God oh yeah, you told me about this. You had these big marks on I, the side of you. I did. Good Actually, Lord. I was yeah. doing a show with Cousin Lisa the next day and I was changing and she's like, what is on your side? Because yeah. I had these like gouges in my ribs. Goodness. And I told her and she just laughed for 20 <laughs> straight minutes. <laughs> and that laugh's amazing because yeah. you'll yeah. start laughing so hard. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the... Uh, a friend of mine, we used to, there used to be this website. I'm sure it still exists, but it was called fugly.com. I don't remember that. Nice. It was just, yeah, they, they got the site. They got the, <laughs> not fugly one. They were fugly.com. They got it. They got in on the ground floor. This was, well, this was back in the dial up days. And she and I would send each other, like, this was pre meme world. Mm-hmm. So we were just sending videos of like gross things to make each other laugh. And, um, yeah, she sent me this one of the, it was like a video of someone pooping and it was in a very sexual form. And I was like, oh, like, no, no. But then at at one second I was like, you know what though? I bet that guy feels good. Like clean. I mean, like, you know, when you have a good poop, (laughs) like it was one of those, like, it was like. Uh, explosive. There's something really wrong with you. No, no, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you have like a really good poop oh, and yeah. you're like, oh. Yes, of course I know that. But 
I'm not going to think. Uh, is that what happened in your situation? That why I don't like scatological references no, no, in my like sex. The poop, the poop that you did on that person. I didn't poop on anybody. All right, the poop that she did on you. She or didn't poop they, on me. Poop, I'm sorry, they. The that, there they wasn't did. a they. There wasn't a them. It wasn't a she or a, uh, it was just, a chat. Yeah, if you just poop on your own while you're masturbating, I don't know if that I counts. Don't know, uh, yeah, dude, that doesn't count. No. no. Stop. <laughs> stop no trying poop. to say that it does count. There was nothing. Ed. It was a ghost uh, poop. I, I posed this question uh, on Facebook the other day about ghost of, poop. No, but it, the you know a shart is when you fart and a little shit comes out. Mm -hmm. But there should be a phrase or a word for when you fart and you think you shit yourself, but it was just you know you have moisture in your butt because of swamp ass <laughs> Florida. A shit steak. <laughs> I made a, I made a mistake. <laughs> I I can tell you what what people said. Um, shartasm, a shartasm, shart like a phantasm, shart um, a shart official. <laughs> um, all right. artificial flavor. So this is these are the response responses that I got. Uh, Jesus Christ, there's a lot. Um, false bottomed. <laughs> Uh, uh, cousin Kenny said, most discover discoveries are named after the person who discovered them. <laughs> <laughs> I present to you the sweaty Todd, mm. a Floridian. Hello. A Floridian. Oh. Hello. Uh, Steve Schneider just said, Ocala, <laughs> <laughs> a Florida, uh, a swart, a swamp ass fart, a half shart ghost in the swamp ass, a wet whisper. Uh, Wet a whisper, a damp dew breeze, uh, a moist muffler, <laughs> a moist muffler. Who gave you that one? Uh, Madeline, um, Riker. yeah, and uh, and uh, so yeah, some people really like that one. <laughs> Someone well, said slider, funny friends, Ted. uh, she's a funny gal, she just got married. Yeah, hey, she's congratulations, funny. I remember Madeline. Uh, she can't stand you. Did you know that? Uh huh. She said that she said that she offered to poop on you once, and you and I said no. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you guys did it anyway, and that yeah. was the part. That was the thing that she. But it was liked. a steak. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I I know I've told you guys this story. Oh, uh, my ex, uh, th like I was twenty years old at the time, and this girl was. Is this, this the story about the sink? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this girl was beautiful half Chinese, tall, um, my first time with her and I was so nervous and scared, um, because we'd never like done anything before. And now we're like, we're going into it. And as the moment is happening and you're a Namby Pamby diaper baby. <laughs> yeah. Say it. Say I'm a Namby Pamby diaper baby. Okay, good. As the moment is happening and I'm doing my first <laughs> push, <laughs> I just go, <laughs> oh! <laughs> and, and I said, "Sorry, just giving you the extra juice." <laughs> <laughs> like I, like, like they were repulsors, and I'm Iron Man. <laughs> like you got, like you got jetpacks. <laughs> <laughs> giving you the extra juice. <laughs> and I hope. I hope she tells this story, but in well, a she's, positive. She's dead now. I mean, she's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she killed told. her with your fart? What? With your fart? No, no. She did it herself. You know who that is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Right. I mean, she did it long after yes. I farted and long after our relationship ended. Yeah. But maybe she was thinking about the fart. Could be. Um, I don't know, do you have any anything embarrassing like that happen to you? When, uh, uh, aside from the time that you in, pooped in, on that girl, in Coitus, that poor girl, um, there was a, it wasn't so much that it happened during the sex act, but it happened while we were leading up to it during foreplay. Yeah, and uh, this girl, we <laughs> we were in her dorm room, and there was like no space anyway, and we were making out, and while we we're making out, you say there's no space, but you're six four and you're a big guy. Well, yeah, but I mean, still, it was like a little closet with two beds in it. Okay. And uh, so anyway, so her roommate wasn't there. So we were making out. And then in the middle of making out, she bites me. And I was like, ah. 
I was like, well, <laughs> what is that? She goes, oh, I'm sorry. It's just something that I was really into with my ex-boyfriend, and I thought you might like it too. And I was like, no, not really. I said, actually, that kind of hurt. She was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So we go back to fooling around again, and she bites me again. And I was like, I, I didn't like that last time. Or whatever. She was like, well, I don't remember what I said. And she was like, she said, oh, I'm so sorry. I just, I forgot, I forgot. I got into it, and I forgot. And I said, I'm not your ex-boyfriend, you know, whatever. I said, you know, I wanted to clarify it. But I got really upset. So then we started making out again. And in order to get her back, like in the middle of kissing her, I just blew into her mouth really hard. <laughs> <laughs> and, her, and her cheeks pumped up. <laughs> and she went, she goes, what was that? I said, oh, it's just something my ex-girlfriend really liked. And I thought you might like it too. And then she laughed really hard. I laughed really hard. We had a great time. I, we actually fooled around for a little while, but you know, I, if you covered up her nose when you did that, it would oh make her God. penis pop out. Yeah, yeah, I heard <laughs> it inverses their vagina. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they. Uh, it was that. That was that was very funny. I'm friends with her on Facebook. <clears throat> really? Yep. Call right. her up right now. The one well, that got away. I don't think her husband would like that very mm-hmm. much. Does he blow in her mouth? I don't know. <laughs> From a different mouth. <laughs> does he sure poop does. on her? Uh, what about you, Ali? I don't know that I've had anything like weird. I remember one time in college um, making out with this girl mm-hmm. um, and we we're at her place and we start making out. And I remember taking, you know, getting the shirt off. We're laying down in her living room, um, in her parents' living room, by the way, this nice. is freshman year. Nice. Um so in her parents' living room, I remember I remember taking her shirt off and starting to mess around, and I was kissing in her chest, and it was the longest hair, just from her chest, like Ugh. she had one long strand of hair, and and I just remember going, what the, fuck? Yeah. And I was like, is this mine? Like I wanted to I wanted to send it back to the manager. It's like there's yeah. a hair in this. <laughs> I don't know if we can get another Isn't one. Her chest is um. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I've not really done anything. Did her balls or penis have hair around it? No, which was weird. Oh, <laughs> um, I was in Nolens, ah. as they say, and uh, this was another Brad story. I was with Brad, and he wanted to buy his his now ex, but he wanted to buy his his girlfriend um, a voodoo doll. Which, first of all, why would you want to give mm-hmm. the person you're in a relationship with a voodoo doll? Because they're going to be mad at you at some point. Yep. Uh, but so he was, uh, as he was buying it, he was like, you have uh, any any voodoo dolls? And the girl was like, oh, yeah. You know, and the thing was, she was like a cute, attractive, like a uh, clerk behind the counter. And um, nothing mystical about her. No, nothing. Nothing. Mystical, no, no dead eye. She nothing. turned around and be like, you look for voodoo dolls. Follow me. She, she no. She looked like really cute. And then, her name was Becky. <laughs> and then, um, my and, name is Becky. And then Brad pointed <laughs> up to like the top shelf behind her, and he was like, "Like one of those up there." And then she lifted her head to look up, and she had like a full patch of hair. Oh, on the bottom side of her neck. And I remember it was enough to. It was so caught me so off guard that I burped. I had a little vomit come up. <laughs> like I was so not expecting it, and I had to go outside. <laughs> Because if you throw up in the streets in New Orleans, nobody cares. No, that's true. That's <laughs> true. There was a girl in uh, <clears throat> in college who went by the nickname Toast. Toast, if you're listening, this is for you. And um, <laughs> <clears throat> I was messing around with Toast. And, um, you know, I had a Toast addi- addiction. And, uh, and in the middle of messing around, she took off her shirt and... Revealed her hairy armpits. Ew. Oh, well, there you go. I mean, yeah, you see that I, more now but, than... But the thing was, I didn't mind. I was like, well, no, if you're right. going to shit on them anyway. But I, I kind of thought to myself, I was like, ooh, how European. <laughs> <laughs> and then and you then were you European. Were being, ah, but yeah, I didn't, she didn't have a hairy patch underneath her neck. Or no. Um, this one is a... Uh, like, Ali knows one of my exes uh, would would cause a uh, water damage around the house. <laughs> yep, I remember. I remember the story, yeah. Um so this is not her, but this was another Ooh, Jesus. This was another um this kind of a, this was an embarrassing story that in one way it's a humble brag, but in another way it was humiliating when it happened. Uh-oh. Um I was doing a gig in Vegas and there was a girl that I had been talking to and <clears throat> we met up 
and she was the same. I mean, she was, you know, it, mm-hmm. it was like a like a slip and slide. It was, it was what 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 the thing with the clowns? You pl- uh, put your uh, water willy. Or yeah, water, yeah, water. <laughs> so anyway, we're having a lot of fun, and when we're all done, the entire bed is ruined. Like the entire bed is absolutely like you would have thought that we were just peeing all over the place. Um, and I had to call the front <laughs> desk to come up and change my sheets. And I just didn't want to be in the room at the time. Cause I was like, I'm not going to look at anybody in the <laughs> eyes. There's no way they're going to look at me and go, Oh yeah, this guy caused some lady to mm. squirt all over the place. They're going to be like, you son of a bitch. This <laughs> motherfucker pees the bed. <laughs> he got so drunk. And you know what? I guarantee you if it's in Vegas, yeah, they've seen that they've before. Seen they're like, Oh God! Here comes another one. He got hammered. This <laughs> was this was right after uh, college graduation, and I was living in an apartment with a friend of mine. And there was this girl that I worked with, and we wound up going back to my place and messing around. And we used um, whipped cream, right? Mm. Yeah, a lot of whipped cream. Mm. It's better in, in on paper. Yeah. Here's the thing about whipped cream: it gets on your sheets. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then you have such a wonderful time. You pass out holding each other. And you wake up to the sourest mm-hmm. milk smell. Yeah. Yeah. It just yeah. just permeating the walls. Yes, you have to, you have to clean, you that, have to clean that up immediately. Yes. You know, that's why when you and I were doing that show where we did the pie fight, the pie, pie is made of soap foam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, or shaving cream. Yeah. So that because especially Whip outside. Gross, yeah. 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 I mean, we've done it. And it's we've smelled, done it here where we've so bad done room. a pie to the face and then you've got the stage lights cooking on you. And then you, yeah, you, yeah. you smell. Well, at the time I was, it, this could be even worse. It was, it was a uh, curdly, you know, whipped cream smell in the walls. And also I was a smoker at the time. So it was oh, like yeah. cigarette smoke mixed in with that. Ugh. That's my, I guess that's my boner killer. Is cigarette smoke? No, smell. Well, cigarettes also are kind of gross, but uh, mm-hmm. but just smell like a yeah. bad smell from anywhere. Yeah, no, I, I mean, we've all done the belly button test, right? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, the belly yeah. Belly button, and it's like, nope, we're going back up. Yep. You go. What? You, you, you start, start going down. Kissing. You're about to go down. You start kissing down the. You get down to the belly button. You're like, nope, because you can already smell. It's like, nope, we're gonna. I go never back called up. it the belly button test, but you get down to the belly button, and then it's like. And then you, then it's like, no, I just got to be inside of you. So, ladies, let, let, here's a little tip. And guys, I, I would say, like, I'm, you know, you got to. Well, I'm, well, all I'm saying is, like, if your man is about to go down on you and then he goes, you know what? I just got to be inside of you. You just made me so horny. Ah, um, your that's shit not is the, nasty. No, that's not always that is, true. That is every that's time. That's not always true. 100% of the time. Whatever. I, it, it also depends on your state of mind because you, you could be, you know, like a. Uh, you, either, you smell the blood in the water, uh, not literally, <laughs> but, but that's right. I'm going on uh, no, no. 18 months now. 18 months what? Dry spell. Nothing. Oh no, you haven't oh, pooped shit. on anyone in 18 months. I haven't pooped on anyone. <laughs> well, wow. we'll find someone. We'll, get you we'll find someone buddy. for you to poop. Poop on. Yeah, but great poop. There on? was. I had a good date the other night though. Yeah. Ali yeah. was with me. We had a double date. That's a little weird then. Yeah. Well, you know. Well, he, he was he was chaperoning. I've me. been waiting for a follow up <laughs> on that. Are you um, are you back on the uh, the apps at all? Kind of. Um, there's this one woman that we met at a concert, and um, yeah, I, I met her in person. And I mean, we met at the concert. We were kind of dancing and and singing next to each other, but I didn't see her after the concert. Right. And then we became Facebook friends, and then we became uh, a date one night. We officially announced ourselves as each other's date. Um, but mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's difficult. You know, as I've said for me, because of the schedule stuff, you know, but Mm -hmm. she seems to be very open to being adaptable. So she wants me to go see Brian Adams in concert with her. Oh, 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 man. Yeah, it's a shame that it's just not going to work out. Uh, So I'm going to (laughs) go. I'm going to go to the show. Will you say take me as I am? (laughs) Take me as I am. Take me as I am. Oh, See, that's you better brush up on your Brian Adams. Adams. The Canadian government has apologized for Brian Adams on many occasions. (laughs) Cuts like a knife. Mm, All right. It Um, feels so right. Well, I suppose we do have a show to get to. And Ed, you got to find someone to 
do a number one and number two on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that that's your I thing. Hate, I hate all that <laughs> stuff. Yeah, but I love you guys. Uh, you Who pooped in your cornflakes? Um, <laughs> I believe it's who pooped on your waffles. That's right. Who pooped on your waffles? It's who peed in your cornflakes. Um, all right. So we should start wrapping things up here because we have a show to do. Mm -hmm. uh, Ed. Ed. What did you learn tonight? Um, well, so much. Um, I learned that, you know, what our things are and what our things are not. Mm -hmm. I learned that if I share that information with you, it will be exploited. <laughs> um, yeah. And I learned that you you have some pretty powerful farts. Apparently. Yeah. It's the juice. It's the juice. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, Ali, what did you learn today? I, I learned that in our uh, on our trip to uh, New Orleans, the end of July, I need to bring plastic sheets for Ed. <laughs> Because I'm the one who ruined the sheets at uh, Todd's house. It was me the whole time. <laughs> I, I fucked him so hard. <laughs> I fucked him so hard. Uh, hey, Buffalo Bill. Um, What'd you learn, Todd? Um, well, I mean, I would like to say that I learned that you you're into poop and pee stuff, but I mean, I feel like I feel like I secretly already knew that. I'm not into it. I'm not into it. Right. He does it? You're on top of it. <laughs> um, I guess I learned that um, uh, next time it happens, just ask the people for new sheets and don't break eye contact and go like, yeah, I fucking did that. I pissed all over this place. I own it like a dog. Like I'm marking my, this is my hotel room. Uh, all right, we're Mama's Comedy Show. We're here every Friday night at 8 p.m. Call 407-363-1985. Uh, Ali, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, at Comedic Actor. Uh, Twitter, I barely have any followers on there, but if you want to find me there, it's at Joke Time Ali. And, uh, and at Comedic Actor on um, the Tiki Talks. Tiki Talk. Uh, Ed, where can people find you? Look behind you. <laughs> uh, you I don't find have followers, me. I follow you. Uh, that's creepy. Uh, if you feel anything wet on the back of your neck, that's Ed peeing. <laughs> uh, just search for at Totters on all socials and you'll probably find me. Uh, buy my books on Amazon. That's it. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 I gotta go poop. <laughs>